Good morning. So this is going to be very quick. I'm sitting here and uh, really feeling led to share this. So I believe that this is for somebody. You were not made to fit in. So here I am. I'm thinking of, um, you know, my son got called weird yesterday um, by somebody. And that's okay. You know what? It's fine. He's supposed to be weird. <laughs> in the sense that we as Christians are supposed to be different. We're supposed to be set apart. We're supposed to look different from the world and that is okay. And so I want to come on to encourage you not to be discouraged when you're rejected, not to be discouraged when people scoff at you, not to be discouraged when people talk about you because it's going to happen. And Jesus told us it was going to happen if we followed him. He said in scripture, um, if they hated me, that they will hate us. Same thing. So these verses also came to mind. Do you not know? Oh, I'm feeling right now that um, there's some of you are just um, dancing with the world. Like that's what I see. I just I see you in clubs. I see you in bars. I see you doing things you know you shouldn't be doing. Um, and like I said yesterday, the Lord is calling you back. And the scripture verse I want to read is, Don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God. And why is that? Because you are in the world, but you are not of the world. And that's what scripture says. Why are we not of the world? Because we don't belong in this world. Eternity is our heavenly home. And what does the Bible say? Who is the ruler of this world? The Bible says that Satan is the ruler of this world. So we are to be in this world, but not of this world. Um, Jesus also said, I have chosen you out of this world, John 15, 19. Um, in the book of Matthew, it says, narrow is the gate for wide, narrow is the gate for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it, but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life and only few find it. And what that means is, Again, what I'm saying, as a Christian, as a follower of Christ, you are going against the grain. You are swimming upstream in a society that's swimming downstream altogether. So, you know, even a scripture is coming to mind right now that says, um, rejoice when you are persecuted. Um, the Bible says that you are blessed when you are persecuted for his name. And by persecution, I'm not just talking about, you know, murder, although that does happen in other places of the world. For being a Christian, you are beheaded and you are murdered. But... Um, I'm talking about um, verbal persecution, scoffing, slandering, people talking about you because you're a believer and a, and a true follower of Jesus Christ. So I just want to encourage you, don't be, um, don't be discouraged by people not accepting you in this world because you are not meant to be of this world. So I would encourage you and I pray that um, for those of you that this may be ministering to, that you would... Um, you would rise up and you would get some thick skin. I pray that the Holy Spirit, he, he did this a good work in me years ago. I'm not afraid of rejection. I'm not afraid of being persecuted. It doesn't bother me when people talk about me because it's not about me. This world is not about me. I am to be a vessel for him. And scripture warns us all throughout the Bible that if we are a follower of him, we will be persecuted by people of this world. So I want to encourage you to hold your head high and run the race that's set before you and do what God has asked you to do. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Follow the Lord. Don't be discouraged. Be blessed, guys. Bye.